Hello friends, in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to allow non-admin user to control start stop of Windows service using group policy. Don't you think that it is not a good idea to give admin rights to a non-admin user just so that he can start or stop or pause a Windows service. And it is worse if this need to be done on a multiple computers. You can definitely use group policy to grant users rights to start and stop Windows services on a client computers. You just need to modify the security descriptor on the service using the security group policy client side extension. Under group policy, look at the service you want to grant start stop permission to and define a policy settings. You have to choose a startup type and then you have to click on edit security and modify the default access control list to include the permission you are looking for. These permissions are exposed only through group policy. You can create a OU that contains the computer account that you want to the policy applied to. For this demonstration, I have a domain controller running on Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition and I have a client that is a part of our domain running Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. This group policy will be created on our domain controller and we will be applying it on our OU containing the computer account. So first of all, I am going to open a server manager and on a server manager, click on a tools and select active directory users and computers. As you can see, we have one OU named MyLab Clients and here we have another OU named HRT and here we have a two user named Anil Kumar and Rajesh Vatiya and we have a one group named HR users and the both users are member of our group HR users. So we want to attach a policy to our OU MyLab Clients. So let's open a group policy management console. Let's click on the tools on the SOAR manage console and select group policy management. On a group policy management console, expand forest, expand domains and here this is our domain mylab.local. Select the OU, in my case it is mylab clients. Right click on OU and select create a GPU in this domain and link it here. Let's specify one name to our GPU. In my case I am going to specify the name allow non-admin user to control service. Then click on OK. Select your newly created GPU and right click on it and select edit button. On a group policy management editor console, under computer configuration, expand policies, expand windows settings, under windows settings, expand security settings. Under security settings, you can see there is a system services. And now double click or right click on the service you want user to manage. In my demonstration, I am going to select print spooler service. Now this is a service which we are looking for print spooler. Double click on it. Now select Define this policy settings and then select automatic. Now click on edit security button. Now here you have to add your user or your group. Let's click on add button and let's specify our group name as our users. Click on check name and click on OK. Select the HR users. Now here we have to assign a permission, read and start, stop and post permission. As you can see I select both permission with allow permission. Then let's click on apply, click on ok, click on yes and let's click on apply and ok again. Repeat this process for all services you wish to configure. Now that you have configured the services via group policy, you will need to reboot the computer for to take effect. So let's close group policy management editor console, let's close group policy management console as well and let's coming back on our client computer. This is our client computer and here we already log in as our user Anil Kumar. Let's open services. On the services.msc console, here let's find the service principaler. And as you can see right now, our user does not have a permission to start or stop this service. Let's close this console and let's manually update the group policy on our client computer. Let's run a command gp update slash force and then hit enter key. Now once you update the group policy on a client computer, let's once restart our client computer. Once your client computer reboots, let's again log in as our user name Anil Kumar. Now let's check the status of the service which we configured using group policy.
Let's again click on a start button. Let's type services. Let's open services management console. Let's find the service name principaler. And here, as you can see, we have now permission to stop the service. We can also start the service. And here, we have options to restart the service. So this is the way how we can use group policy to allow non-admin user to control start and stop of Windows services using group policy. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.